The door happened really fast. That was it. <laughs> oh, I sent you. <laughs> there you go. And it's open. And he's taking treats today. Pine nuts. Hey, bandit. Hey, bandit. Oh, there's a car. I heard it go by. It's on the other street, at least. Good night, bandit. Good. He does? Gregor. Where are you going? Why are you going back in? We're not even done with your aviary. Hey, baby. <laughs> what are you doing, you little powder puff? <laughs> Such a nice, pretty sunny day. Um, yeah, it's our last full day at home. So I got to open up the garage, yay! Yay, cuties! Got Tusa and Bandit. And Rocco. Rocco, where are you? Rocco! Coming out in the sun. Rockstar! It's like, ignoring me. Cool. Okay, so I went out and got, okay, Dave went out and got four buckets of sand so I can fill in these aviaries. Our neighbor is gracious enough to be taking care of our birds this trip. We're gonna be gone for two weeks in Niagara Falls, Canada. And um, yeah, I just wanna make sure that everything is tip top for easiest care. So I even did some redecorating inside. I will show you. I moved everybody around to be taking care of the easiest. So Bondi and Cressy are sharing a five by eight. All the macaws are separated. Bandit has his own space as usual. 
I did some redecorating over here. I got, let's see if I can do this, extra perches. Other people keep their feathers in here, so got that. Paper towels, of course, that's what I use to clean cages. And then we got everything labeled for everyone, so it's easy. Stuff up there, oh, hey cuties. We got these guys checking in on me, listening. And then I keep all the pellets in bulk down here, as well as in our freezer. I have some pellets and I have <laughs> a whole ton of bird food. And I'm going to lure that out, but then I made a bird care sheet because I don't want any of you calling my mom. Bird care sheet um, and all the stuff that Rocco can have and can't have and all that good jazz and how to take care of the birds. So, yeah. Hopefully it's easy peasy. This goes off without a hitch. I get to go put sand in aviaries. Yay! Banna Gregor, come back out! Come back out and play! Come play with me! <laughs> Good boy! Good boy, Banna! Good boy! Is it on Dave's motorcycle? We won't tell him. <laughs>
Hi guys, Jamie Lee here. So we are here in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, performing at the Greg Fruin Theatre, and it's been really fun. Dave has come here and performed numerous times, but I have never got to come up and actually perform at the theatre. So this time, Capri and I got to join, and so Dave and I are both in the show, and it's really, really fun. We're doing huge illusions, we're working with big cats, we get to play with the parrots, and the doves, of course, which Capri is loving. They actually have two different dove aviaries, so Capri is all about it, and they're like walk-in aviaries. So it's really, really cool. And then, of course, I've been helping myself <laughs> to making myself the bird caretaker, even though they have plenty here. Um, but we've been taking the birds in the theater and flying them and playing with them and just taking care of them. It's been really fun, even putting them in the shower and all sorts of stuff. So we aren't actually using any of Greg's parrots in the show. We're just playing. <laughs> um, Dave has used them in the show in the past, but based on what we're doing in the current show, we aren't using any of the parrots. So anyways, um, it's really cool because Greg has a blue and gold macaw named Mika, who we trained early on for him ages ago for free flight. And then uh, he has a scarlet macaw named Magic, who's around like 25 years old or maybe older. He's been traveling with him for 20 years at least, I know that. Um, and then he has a umbrella cockatoo named Maya. So it's been, it's been really fun. I will admit I'm most intimidated from Maya. <laughs> so Dave's always calming me down because I'm like, their body language is just crazy and I have a thing about umbrella cockatoos because that was the first parrot that I was exposed to where I didn't understand body language so still to this day I'm super intimidated by umbrella cockatoos. Um, but anyway it's been a really fun experience. I hope some of you can make it to the shows. We're here through October 15th so if any of you are nearby and want to come check out a show please do. We would love to meet you afterwards and everything. So yeah and then we head home I think for a day, we have a show in uh, Spokane, Washington on October 16th, 16th, yeah. We get home on the 15th, we have the show on the 16th, and then we head to Moab, Utah for free flight. So we're excited and a fundraising show for the school there. So hopefully you guys can keep up with us. Our tour schedule is on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash bird tricks if you just go to our events. All of our public appearances are events on our Facebook page. So hopefully you guys can keep up with us because we would love to meet some of you and see some of you and meet some birds because I am really missing mine this trip. I even sent my mom to my house to just call me so I could hear them. <laughs> yeah, and then I, um, I like find myself over cleaning here in the dove aviary. It like doesn't need it because I just did it, but I go in there anyway and I'm like, oh, like molted three feathers, so I'll pick those up and yeah, I, I get trying to get my birdie fixed, but apparently like 10 doves and three parrots isn't enough for me to take care of, so. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but yeah, please come check out the shows. I unfortunately I can't share any show footage because this is Greg's show um, We are stepping in for him. So a lot of the routines actually well a lot of um, We do some of the same tricks in our show But we do them completely differently as far as routining and music and all that stuff So this was really different for me to learn. Please come check it out We would love to meet you guys and hopefully we'll be doing more tours around Niagara to just really take in the place because it's amazing here. I did.